Hello guys, Cookie here. I just want to uh, show you my settings for the uh, Ed Tracker version 401 uh, before I continue to show you how it tracks inside BMS. I hope you can see it here, but I have my settings to linear mode and uh, yaw scaling and pitch scaling to 1 and set the smoothing to uh, 65. Uh, the temperature of the uh, ED tracker is uh, in the green area and you have to remember it has to be in the green area before you start calibrating, calibrating the uh, magnetometer. When that is calibrating and you auto gyro BS and reset view you have a totally steady uh, head here. Uh, what I have done over here at the open track, hope you can see it, uh, setting to the joystick and uh, free track, and then I have the uh, Accela filter MK4, and you can see my settings here. I set it rotation to 90, translation to 70, order number 2 to 150, order 3 to 230. Rotation deadband 1, translation deadband 1, exponent 1, and that is uh, basically how I set it up now, and uh, it's working really smooth in BMS. I'll start the tracker, and you can see when I move the head here. Because I'm using it only on one screen, the uh, exponential uh, factor in the mapping area here uh, inside the uh, open track 2.0 you can see my yaw is set to you know when I move my head from 0 to 4 degrees uh, it, it, it doesn't move very much because that's my dead zone and then it's accelerated up so if I move my head about 30 degrees then the uh, head tracker will move its head to 180 degrees. That means when I move my head 30 degrees left right, uh, my head tracker inside the BMS will uh, basically uh, look at my 6 o'clock. And uh, the same for the pitch and the same for the roll. The roll, I don't need much roll, so I basically have a very uh, not so steep uh, curve here. Um, the asymmetric mapping below is when you check this you can you can you can configure your left and right or your up and low or your roll uh, left or roll roll right uh, as you want to but if it's not checked both side of your uh, scale is uh, synchronized so when you look to the left and you look to the right it does uh, the same amount of stuff there i had to uh, invert my yaw pitch and roll because Apparently I have my USB set to left side of the head. But uh, this here is actually how it, 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 it tracks in here when I move it on the box. But let's see how it looks inside the BMS. <coughs> so we can get an idea how that is. I'll start BMS up and I'll put on my head tracker as you can see here. And you can see now I have my center view. I can move my head a little up and a little down. It doesn't respond that much. Uh, but otherwise it tracks really good. After I work with the filter, um, it's, it's much better. Before it was kind of jittering when I tried to look, focus at, at one place on the terrain or in the cockpit. Now it's it, it's much much better and I can tilt my head 
and you of course have to get used to this here but basically it tracks really really good and this here is only the first stage of the air tracker test but right now I'm, I'm uh, satisfied with the result it might need a bit more smoothing I don't know but uh, I will check that later of course we don't have any X, Y and Z axis here but uh, we don't need that when we have our physical cockpits so basically we just turn off the cockpit and look around and see what is happening here but it tracks very precise and I can he keep my head very still and uh, watch for vehicles down there and I'm stalling Okay guys, that's about it for now.